Okay, here's a real quickie. Uh, currently set in the uh, frequency selection menu for 5800 megahertz. And I happen to know this is a really bad spot on my uh, transceiver. So you can see, look, good solid signal there. And also on the uh, the monitor here, um, race channel F4, solid as a rock. And if we uh, go in here and change that, up 5 megs, up 10, up 15, I've lost it, you can see we've lost it on here, uh, it seems good there still, back down to 10, it's coming back in, and right, if I can get that to focus, 5805, 5800, and this is another feature, it, the quad actually uh, does a reboot, which I'll describe later on sometime, but um, there we are, 5800, all looks good. Select that as a frequency, exit, and bang, the video goes straight away. And it's, it'll just, that's how sensitive it is. Absolutely um, useless. <laughs> so that is not a good frequency uh, to pick. So what is a good frequency? Well, I'll try and do this with one hand here tonight. How about trying? Now the other thing is, when you're changing frequency on the quad, you need to be actually right up close to it. Uh, very similar to when you uh, you bind. Okay, so uh, I've selected now 5740 megahertz. Um, and of course we've lost it on here because that's now uh, channel F1, I believe. Um, there we go, F1. And we can see it on the monitor here as well. And just flashing away. Now this time we'll exit the menu. And there we go, solid. Nothing. Before that just cut out instantly. And this is a good channel for me, this will get me to easily a mile good range FPV. So there you go, um, something worth thinking about. Um, I'll try and put together proper video sometime, this is just a quickie. As there have been so many um, questions about this. All the best, to see you all soon again.